Hey guys, so I'm here to share with you the things I actually used out of my hospital bag. So if you've seen my hospital bag video, you know I packed everything under the sun in there. I had a rolling suitcase for, uh, it was like a carry-on size for my actual hospital stay. I had a um, backpack full of, which in the video there's a duffel bag, but I put it in the backpack or like a little backpack um, when I actually went. And that was full stuff for labor and delivery, which I didn't use a single thing in there except for one thing. And also um, brought a diaper bag for Parker and we didn't use, we probably used maybe four things out of there and I, or three things out of there and I'll share with those, those with you as well. But first off, so out of my entire labor and delivery bag that I brought, I didn't use, I brought a heat warmer thing and I was gonna use that, some socks, a robe. Um, I did use the robe, just not um, during labor and delivery and a bag for nipple balm and nipple creams and stuff like that. But the only thing out of the entire bag that I used was my Nivea uh, Milk and or Kiss of Milk and Honey Lip Balm. This stuff is amazing and I absolutely love it to death. And this thing saved my life. I got so dry towards the end whenever I was breathing really hard through contractions and this was a lifesaver. So, um, and the only other thing that I needed while I was in there um, was they provided juice and water and ice chips for me and that's all I needed. The snacks in there we weren't able to use because you're not allowed to bring food or any other beverages of your own inside um, the labor and delivery room. So Garrett did not eat at all or drink anything at all. I was, I didn't eat anything either, but I was able to drink juice and water. So that was everything I used in my labor and delivery bag. So moving on to after I had her and we went up to our postpartum room, out of my actual hospital bag during the hospital stay, the only skincare that I used were these three products right here out of my entire um, toiletry bag. Now I did bring toothbrushes and toothpaste. I didn't brush my teeth because I was too grossed out to do it in the bathroom. Um, I ended up using those little wispies that I brought in my labor and delivery bag. Um, but Garrett did use the toothbrush for himself. And then all I used was my Crest Evenly Gorgeous Body Wash. Oh my God. Um, to wash myself off with. And then I just used my face wash to wash my face. I didn't do my toner. Um, I didn't do anything special. I didn't wash my hair at all. I didn't even use the dry shampoo while I was in there. Um, but the only moisturizer that I used anywhere was my CeraVe Daily um, moisturizing facial lotion which I this is meant for the morning because it has sunscreen in it but I use this for morning and night um, whenever I got out of the shower that's what I used on my face so that is all the skincare I used now all the snacks I had in my hospital bag um, there was one point in the middle of the night because our hospital their cafeteria is open from 6 30 in the morning all the way till 3 in the next morning and it's different things like um whenever we got out of labor and delivery from 9 and 3 in the morning we could order like a ham sandwich and that's it but you could still get food and that's what we ended up getting me and garrett me and garrett both got ham sandwiches so so there wasn't there was only one time um like the night before we we're about to be discharged i was starving and i forgot to order something and i ended up eating a little bit of chocolate so that's that and for clothing wise i used most of my clothing garrett he only changed once because he only took one shower while we we're at the hospital um we were there for a full 48 hours by the way so for clothing wise i changed as soon as pretty much as soon as i got into my hotel room my hotel room the hospital room um because my robe i kept having some malfunctions with it i don't know if i just had a faulty robe but every time i went to the bathroom it'd like fall off of me every time because uh, the nurse had to help me use the bathroom the first few times um there's no ifs ands or buts about it they made you call them when you had to go to the bathroom and so um yeah so what i ended up changing into was this little nightgown i just showed this in the hospital bag that's the only nightgown i wore and i just wore it that first night now this was really easy to breastfeed her in because it has like this little fold that you can fold down um but i don't even know where i got this so i can't tell you um you can't even see it like i've had this thing for years and i've never worn it i just had I maybe wore it once and i've had it in my drawer for like literally seven years so i'm not sure where i got it from so i wore that um, the first night and then when people came over um, to see me I had on this nursing tank that I got from Target and it's by Gilligan Gilligan and O'Malley and it's a really nice um, I've been wearing the crap out of this now that I've been home you just unclip it like that and it was really easy and on top of this um, I wore this little the robe that I had in my labor and delivery bag just a short 
rub I got it from motherhood maternity maternity it just pretty much just goes behind your booty and so I was able to wrap up and cover up with that whenever people would come over and I wore that my entire hospital stay pretty much and so for bottoms, um, I have these Billy and O'Malley shorts. They're really comfortable. I have the top that goes with it, but it just it just looked so strange on me. So I had the shorts on when it got hot in the room in the evening. And then in the morning and at night, I had these um, sweatpants I also got from Target. And these are Gilligan and O'Malley as well. So these are super comfortable and I still am wearing them now. They're amazingly comfortable to wear in the bed. I ended up dirtying my nursing tank. It starts smelling weird. So I have this other tank that's being maternity being maternity by Ingrid and Isabel from Target as well. It's a, like a labor. It's like a maternity um, tank top. But it still is really flexible to pull down whenever I did need to nurse her. So when I wore that, I wore the robe as well to keep everything covered up. So that is all of the clothing that I wore and all of the items that I used. I never wore socks. I never wore any of the socks. I didn't use the underwear that I had. One, because the underwear was too small, which is quite embarrassing. Two, they, a lot of you told me that the underwear was going to be really comfortable and it really is like wearing a cotton ball. Like it's so, so soft and you can get as many of those as you want. And the great thing too, I didn't realize till after, um, I was about to be discharged. I had an amazing nurse when I was about to be discharged and she told me, you know, you can wash these, so you don't need to throw them away. It's like, well, crap, I've already thrown them away. Like five of them. Uh, or 10 of them and so I ended up keeping some and she gave me an extra pack and I brought those home with me but they are really comfortable and they're literally just like a rectangle with two uh, holes cut out the bottom and obviously the top is completely cut open um, they give you plenty of pads so I didn't use my pads um, I ended up using them when I got home um, but what else lanolin cream like if you wanted lanolin cream or lotion for your baby or um, if you wanted anything like that, they provide that for you. If you need co lace, they provide that for you. I didn't use the tux pads because I didn't end up getting hemorrhoids. Um, and I had the dermaplast to spray down there, so it wasn't, I didn't need that for that issue. Um, pretty much everything they provided. The only thing that I would have used that I didn't get to use fully were the baby wipes. They don't provide baby wipes, they gave you gauze and like these little um, uh, washcloths disposable washcloths and that's what we had to end up wiping her tissue with for the first five days of her life because she broke out um in a diaper rash the first time we used the pampers sensitive wipes on her and so we ended up buying a bunch of um these water wipes on amazon they didn't come in until she was five days old so um that's all we did was just some warm water in the towels to wipe her down uh they provided diapers so that wasn't an issue and um yeah, so the one thing that I think that you guys should bring with you to the hospital that is an absolute necessity for the baby is a swaddle. Now, um, this is the swaddle we used on her whenever she was first uh, born. This little guy looks really funny. I'll show you in a second. But they never showed us how to use the swaddle blankets. Um, they would just come in there, swaddle up really tight, and then as soon as they'd walk out the door, she'd let out this big, like, fart. And so... We were just like, crap, so we had to change her. Like, she was really upset and it was wet and stuff. So, we change her. And um, this girl, she poops a lot. So, we had to change her a lot. And every single time, like, the first few times we had to call them back. Like, can you come back and swaddle her? But they wouldn't show us. And I, we asked them to show us. And they just, like, quickly did it and handed her over. And we're like, crap, Garrett, did you see that? We watched some videos. And we can never get it tight enough on her she'd fight her way out of it every time um maybe a few times we did they what they did they doubled it up they swallowed swallowed they swaddled her once and then they swaddled her again and to make it really thick and tight and i started getting the hang of it but it just got so annoying and she wasn't liking the way we're doing it she only liked the way they did it so one thing we got in our registry was this little swaddle blanket so Essentially, this is where the legs go in. So you pull that back, and then you're left with this little bodysuit. So the last thing you do, you put this thing between their legs, and then you have these two things where you put their arms, and they have the flaps that help tuck them in. And so you can do them nice and tight. This is too small for her now, but it worked great for her for the first, um, pretty much the first week and a half of her life that worked amazing on her. But I would recommend some kind of like Velcro swaddle thing to 
bring in there no matter what if you're a pro at swaddling or whatever it just makes it so much easier you're tired me and gary got four hours of sleep the entire stay we were there and we're there 48 hours in after we gave birth after i had her but before that we were there for 12 hours before that so um it's just really nice to get something easy like that where you don't have to not too much thinking is involved but um, for her, also, we did need socks. She did come out with pretty sharp nails. They weren't long, but they she scratched up her face. She had like this huge J-shaped thing between her eyes. It just went away last week. Um, but she would scratch her face. She tried to gouge her eyes out, and she like scratch her skin and stuff. So um, putting, when she was swaddled up, she was fine. Like this girl, even when she was swaddled up, there was one time where she had like scratched the crap out of her chest. Um, while she was swaddled up and she's like girl stop it oh my gosh you poor thing don't hurt yourself so we ended up putting socks and of course i packed the ones that say i love mommy so it's kind of kind of like the little fan fingers that say i love mommy and i thought that was cute but so there's that um one thing that i would have used also if it was working properly was this um glass right here i made a big deal about how it was really great to have this because it has the straw out of it and everything because this did have an attachment but the straw was like flawed. I should have known because it's five bucks at Walmart and the straw, like when you sucked on it, like you like try to suck your brains back into it and then you wouldn't get hardly any. It was really loud, it would scare her. So um, yeah, uh, get you a better quality one of these and actually use it before you go to the hospital. And also we did end up using our chargers a lot. Um, we did have an extension cord, but it wasn't long enough. So I get a super, super, super long extension cord next time. Um, because she would only be soothed with white noise and the only way to get it was on our cell phones. So we had, um, for 48 hours, we had the cell phone on my shoulder or Garrett's shoulder, whoever was holding her. So she would sleep and it had to be hooked up to the wall because it would die in 30 minutes. So there's that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all we use. That's all we did. Um, oh, I didn't use the big pink robe, didn't use that once, and the towel we did end up using whenever we did take showers. So, um, I would recommend bringing a towel because they do have really tiny towels. And another thing I ended up using that a lot of people said not to bring were the nipple pads because even if your milk isn't coming in, you still have colostrum. And even if you don't have colostrum yet or it's not enough to do make anything, you're putting lanolin cream on your nipples or a nipple cream. And that stuff, if you keep putting it on there and on there, it will start to bleed through your shirt and it will make a mess that way and it can get kind of gross feeling. So yeah, bring some nipple pads. Um, it can't hurt. And I didn't use the washable ones. I used the disposable ones from Lansano. Those are amazing and I highly recommend those. And the boppy, we did end up bringing that and we did use it. I didn't use it at all because I couldn't find a comfortable way to hold her. My torso is too short for it. And so whenever I have it on there, like my boob would be like almost under the boppy and she couldn't get to it. So people, when they came over, they used it a lot. Um, they I wrapped around so they could hold her easy and they wouldn't have to like try to like use their muscles to hold her. But uh, yeah, so guys, that is everything that I used in my hospital bag, labor bag, diaper bag, and all that stuff. But yeah, so if you have any questions, if I didn't mention something that I mentioned in my last video, please let me know down below. And also, if you want to see my hospital bag video, please check it out. It's quite lengthy, but it's worth it. Um, I promise. But anyways, I love you guys very much, and I will... It's very lengthy, and honestly, next time, if there is a next time, I will pack the exact same amount of things, maybe even more, because every labor is different. You don't know what you're going to want. You don't know how that's going to go. Anyways, guys, I love you all very, very much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, guys, so a little snippet that I'm going to add in here, a little bonus clip. I just want to talk a little bit about Parker, how she's doing. She is three weeks and two days old today, and it is Thursday. Um... July what day is it uh the 23rd of July and so she's doing great she's amazing she's sleeping longer throughout the night it's more consistent where she's only waking up three times um before last week she was waking up maybe five to six sometimes it's been seven times in the middle of the night and so there's like no sleep whatsoever um so I'm getting better at putting her down and calming her that way She's going back and forth from bottles to me to a pacifier really well. However, some days she just wants to be fed with a bottle that with milk that's been frozen that's been heated up. She prefers that. And other days she just wants fresh milk from me. She wants to be uh, held by me, but 
Uh, the days where she wants a bottle, she's more clingy to Garrett. So um, I'll let him do it, then I'll step in and I'll do it some too. But other than that, uh, she's doing really, really great. We're finding things that she loves, and a lot of things that she loves, she doesn't like anymore. She doesn't fit newborn onesies anymore either. I had to cut, I put, shoved one on her, like as gentle as I could, um, thinking it was something wrong with me, and I ended up having to cut it off of her. So she's done with newborns. She's still too small for zero to three months, but that's what she has to wear because she can't fit in the newborns anymore. But yeah, she's a beautiful, happy baby still, and she's sleeping right now. And she's she's doing her thing. But yeah, I'm trying to get better about um, filming and editing videos. Last video, every single time I'd sit in the computer chair, she'd wake up and start screaming like she knew that. I was trying to get the work done. She's like, no, you're gonna come over here and you're talking to me. You're not gonna go back and do that stuff. So um, yeah, she's a pretty smart little cookie, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much all that's going on with me postpartum wise. I'm still bleeding, but I'm not hurting anywhere. Um, I don't feel pregnant anymore. The stomach is getting smaller, but it's sagging more. So um, I'm ready for in three more weeks when I can finally start working out. I'm cleared by my doctor, that'll be um, really great and I'm excited for that um, I am eating better the only thing is I've kind of skipped on drinking water as much as I should so I'm trying my best to drink lots and lots of water so uh, wish me luck with that one but other than that everything's going great and I just want to give you all a little update in there so for real now goodbye hey guys so I'm here to share with you the things I actually used out of my hospital bag so if you've seen my hospital bag video, you know I packed everything under the sun in there. I have